vaginal discharge. If you're pregnant, you've probably noticed all sorts of weird stuff coming out of your vagina. I had one mom <laughs> that came into class and she's like, it's like my vagina has like drippy glue coming out of it. It's, it's there all the time. I have to change underwear like multiple times a day. And I'll tell you what I told her, having vagina glue just means that your baby will be a whiz at arts and crafts. Just kidding. But it is normal to have that drippy vagina glue, but it's gross. Okay, so what I want you to know about this is it is caused by an elevation of estrogen. Of course, hormones are to blame for everything. And this increase of estrogen uh, increases the amount of blood pumping down to your vagina, and that stimulates the mu mucous membranes which make your vagina like a discharge factory. So don't be alarmed. This will happen to you. Get ready. Um, okay, but it actually serves many purposes, not just to gross you out. So it helps to wipe away any dead skin cells. It helps the bacterial levels in the vagina find equilibrium. And it also helps to guard the, the birth canal from infection. So we want that, that discharge to be there. And so usually the discharge is odorless, a little bit sticky, like clear to white, um, and pretty thin, but sometimes it comes out in different colors. So here is my guide to first the, the different colors of discharge and if you should be worried about them or not. So typically, again, that discharge should be like clear or white. That's absolutely normal, even if there's a lot of it. If it is green or yellow, this could signal an STD like chlamydia. So if you have yellow discharge, definitely let your care provider know. Pink discharge. So a little bit of pink in the discharge is pretty common, especially in early pregnancy when it might be just a little bit of blood caused from the embryo implanting in the uterus. So it's nothing to be worried about. Um, and it might show up later in pregnancy when the, the mucus plug dislodges. So the mucus plug is also called like bloody show and it's pretty much what it sounds like. A lot of mucus that has been lodged in your cervix keeping bacteria and any kind of yuck from getting up into your uterus. And so that comes out um, as you're prepping for your due date. And sometimes that has a little bit of pink in it. Uh, same with red. So you might have a little bit of red in the beginning because of that implantation, a little bit at the end because of that mucus plug. If what you're experiencing is more blood than red discharge, let your care provider know as that could be a sign of a potential issue going on. Uh, brown, brown is another pretty regular color for discharge, especially in the beginning as your uterus is shedding any old blood that comes out as brown usually. Um, but if you're having a lot of brown discharge, that could be a potential sign of an issue. So if it's pretty excessive, go ahead and call your care provider. Uh, gray, gray discharge is usually a sign of something called bacterial vaginosis. Um, it is essentially just an imbalance of bacteria in the vagina, and it can usually be taken care of uh, with antibiotics. Okay, so in addition to color, the odor can indicate different issues. So most of the time, the discharge has no odor. That's what we want. If it is a fishy odor, this could be a sign of bacterial vaginosis. Again, the gray discharge, a fishy odor, that's probably what's happening. Um, if you have, oh wait, I'm not just going over odor right now. Odor and like shape and size and all that kind of stuff. So cottage cheese, if you have like cottage cheese kind of consistency of your discharge, that could be a sign of a yeast infection. And if that cottage cheese discharge is accompanied by itching or burning, you probably have a yeast infection, which is easy to take care of, but it's really uncomfortable. So go ahead and let your care provider know, even though you're more than qualified likely to diagnose a yeast infection and take care of it, when you're pregnant, it's best to, to let your care provider know about anything abnormal that's, that's happening. Um, okay, so what to do? So again, if you have any abnormal discharge, we're gonna let the care provider know, but beyond that, it can feel kind of icky to always have lots of discharge down there. Um, so here's some tips for that and tips for helping to stave off 
yeast infection and bacterial vaginosis. So wearing unscented, 100% certified organic cotton underwear can make things breathable. Um, you also want them to not be too tight because if you have tight, non-breathable underpants, it can breed bacteria that can lead to an infection. So we want it breathable and not too tight. No tampons, no douching. A tampon can introduce bacteria and douching can uh, mess with the balance of the microorganisms in your vagina. So no douching, no tampons. And I know it's tempting with tampons because you know, hypothetically they could trap that discharge and it won't come out of you, but it's not worth, not worth the risk. Um, so use unscented personal care products. The chemicals that create the fragrances for, say, scented toilet paper, oils, they can lead to an infection. They can irritate the skin. So stay away from any scented products. Um, honor the golden wiping rule. So anyone who has been potty trained was taught to wipe from front to back to make sure you're not wiping poop particles into the vagina. So you really want to honor that rule during pregnancy to again make sure you're not introducing any, any funk into the vagina. So front to back. Um, getting probiotics. So to increase the healthy bacteria in your vagina, go ahead and eat unsweetened yogurt, kefir, sour, uh, sauerkraut, and other probiotic rich foods can again increase the, the healthy bacteria in the vagina, which obviously we want. Um, and then avoiding sugar, yeast loves sugar. And when we have a buildup of yeast, we have, you know, I think that's about it. Um, if you want to share about your discharge, hey mama, this is a safe place to do so. So you can comment below. We can get into a long discussion about vaginal discharge, whatever you want to talk about. All right. See you soon.